Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And in this one, I'm talking about spells and which spells to use on your La Luna attacks at Town Hall 9 and 10 and how to use them. Because sometimes people use rages when they should use hastes. They don't know quite when to use the heal, when to use the freeze. So I'm going to try to clear that up for Town Hall 9 and 10 in this video. Regrettably, I only have two attacks, one Town Hall 10, one Town Hall 9, but they should illustrate the points, especially this first one here by Tornado Top Link's a very nice attack. But before I hit the play button right here, I want to quickly say at Town Hall 10, um, starting, which spells to use when. So just to go through, you have the Haste, the Heal, the Skeleton Spell, the Rage, and the Freeze are the types of spells you can use in your La Luna attacks pretty much, and you can see all... Uh, five of them are being used here by uh, top links, so it's a very good example. Um, to go through, basically the haste is to move your balloons faster, but you don't need the extra DPS or radius from the rage. It's more of just a uh, initial spell to use on the outside of the base to move your uh, balloons faster. The heal is for back end, typically, after they've gotten through the inferno towers and they're clumped up for the last group of defenses. It's not between infernos, typically, it's after... Uh, all Infernos are down, and you're encountering the last um, bit of defenses where Wizard Towers tend to congregate. Um, the Freeze is on the Inferno Tower, typically, and if you can get like an Air Defense or some Teslas as well, and it just it makes sense. The Inferno Tower pathing isn't easy. The Inferno is going to be targeting your balloons for an extended period of time, and you need to get that Freeze down. So those are the criteria there. Then the Rage is when the Haste spell... Um, won't quite do because you want the extra uh, DPS possibly for a um, possibly for an Inferno Tower or a bunch of Expos or something where you need the extra damage and you want it to affect a large area so it's worth the extra spell space because um, the haste doesn't cover it. So it's for DPS and for spell radius. And finally, the Skelly, of course, is for taking out the Queen. And if you can, you want the Rage to overlap with the Skelly spell because that way the Skeletons are Raged up and they'll take out the Queen much quicker, which is very important for your attack. Typically, bring two Skellies. You can get away with one sometimes, but it's nice being able to have two so you can drop the second one on a different uh, spot if the Queen jumps the wall after you drop your first one. So that all being said, here is the attack. I'll... Might have to pause it a little bit, but I'll talk through as we go. This one was a very nice attack. Um, and bases often look like this where they have the exposed uh, Inferno Tower at the bottom here with the two kind of um, compartments like this. You can just wall break your queen in, use the king to funnel, grab the Inferno. And even on this base, there's an air defense handy as well. He barely gets it taken out, but he does. So um, good stuff there. The queen will go back for that air defense in just a moment. Great value. Okay, here come the spells though. Um, starting with the haste, just um, no hard defenses to take out, no expos or anything, um, just straight up defenses such as cannons, wizard towers, um, air defenses, not too hard for the balloons in groups of three or four. They get through it in one drop each and the haste just helps them, especially against the sweeper. The haste is a good spell against the sweeper as well to propel them through. Another haste to lead in, and right there, the freeze. Now, he misses the air defense here, which, uh, you know, it happens. The Inferno is the main deal because the Inferno is going to be targeting his balloons, and the pathing isn't that easy to into it, especially with all the Teslas and stuff. It's not the easiest um, pathing, so the Inferno is going to be an issue for a long period of time. He wants to get it taken out, or at least get it frozen before it gets taken out. And then right here, the Rage. I love that Rage because it's worth it. There's so many defenses in that small area. There's, there's actually so many use, uh, reasons to use this Rage. First is all the defenses there, especially the Inferno, which requires a lot of DPS. So you want to boost your balloons' is, uh, damage. But also, um, the Skelly spell is going to be dropped on the Queen there, and they can get the corner of that Rage to take out the Queen. So there's so much value here. The big spell radius helps for sure because it covers the entire area there, and it will propel them into the last group of defenses. You can see right here the Rage still getting value as it propels the balloons down. Then there's that heal. Like I said, that heal is for that last group when the... Um, when the uh, air skellies are still up, when the wizard tower is still up, keep your balloons healed. You don't even need a haste because 
they can hang out in the heel. The haste can actually work against you because it'll push them out of the heel too quickly and they might die before they get healed back up. So um, all you need is that back end heal for the last group of defenses, but make sure the Inferno Tower is down. Uh, one more thing when you're dropping the Skelly spell, be sure that the defenses get taken out around the queen before you drop the Skelly spell. You don't want to drop it when the, the Inferno or a Bomb Tower or a Wizard Tower or something like that nearby is still up because the skellies were taken out, especially a bomb tower, not a good idea. It'll lock on and take out your skellies. So let your balloons take a few shots. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Oftentimes the queen will target a lava hound anyway. Let her take a few shots, and then once the defenses around her are taken out and the balloons are passing her by, then drop your skelly spells. They'll do a much better job taking her out. All right, Town Hall 9, um, starting here with base 29. Uh, let me give a few comments first though to uh to kind of help you guys out here so really it's the technically the same spells you still have the haste the heal the skelly the rage and the freeze but not really you don't use the freeze at town hall nine is this the right attack yeah this is the right one you don't use the freeze at town hall nine so keep that in mind no freeze um not worth it then the skelly is much less used because oftentimes you'll take out the queen because uh, the queen's usually offset so she can be taken out pretty easily with the king or with the kill squad or whatever so um, the skelly's not going to be as valuable and as a result the rage is not as valuable because um, for two reasons the rage is not as valuable because first you're not using the skelly spell as much and one of the big reasons to use a rage is because the skelly spell can get the benefit of it and second, there's no Inferno Towers. The buildings tend to be less hit point. You have the same level balloons. You still have level six balloons. So you don't need the DPS boost as much. It's really only if you need that spell radius, which oftentimes you don't. So don't rage up your balloons much at Town Hall 9. The main spells you're gonna be using are the Heal and the Haste. You wanna master using those two spells at Town Hall 9. And especially if you're kind of a beginner to this stuff, I would say only use the Heal and the Haste. It's all you need. Um, to take out a base and it's gonna be the most effective use the haste to move your balloons through the, through the base This attack regrettably doesn't have as much of an air component as some do it has a pretty big kill squad But um, oftentimes you can have seven, you know haste spells all for your balloons to propel them through and that heal can be for a little less um, Rigid in terms of when to use it because at Town Hall 10 of course um, you don't want to heal over the Inferno unless it's frozen, so there's a little bit less of a window to heal, but at Town Hall 9, it's whenever you need it. Now, typically, again, this will work for the back end of the base, especially if Wizard Towers are there, um, mainly because your balloons clump up on the back side of the base. That's when they're most susceptible to splash damage, and that's when you can heal and get the most value out of that heal. When your balloons are spread out, don't worry about losing a group of three or four because the next uh, group of balloons can take the torch and uh, move the baton a little bit farther in the race as they go through the defenses. So don't worry about healing a small group. It's mainly that main group towards the end. If all your eggs are in one basket, you gotta make sure they're healed up because a little bit of splash damage and your entire attack is in the ground. So um, this is Bavesh. I'm in Alpha, by the way, recording here. Um, this is the last arranged war against Assassin's Core from Alpha. But that being said, you can see no need to heal over the wizard tower compartment on this side because it's being tanked partly by the queen. Um, and really the balloons are spread out and there's not that many balloons in uh, each of these groups. So there's not a whole lot at stake. But um, once he gets to the other compartment on the other side, now the heal is gonna be more valuable. So he goes ahead and heals right here. Um, I think he has another haste as well. Yeah, there's the haste, but not in a huge hurry to use the haste. Let the balloons sit there, enjoy the heal. It's very difficult to take them out when they're being healed. I think he wants to let the Lava Hound pop as well here. And right there it does. And uh, the, the haste will actually just go for swag. No need to use it. It probably would have only hurt him, if anything, by not popping that Lava Hound because he doesn't have a ton of cleanup. So yeah, that's pretty much it. At Town Hall 9, haste and heal. That's my recommendation. Don't really use any other spells unless you're doing a more fancy attack. Um, or if there's a, just a huge area of Teslas and all this stuff where the rage makes more sense, um, like a expo area. Because the rage at Town Hall 9, it's only if you need that extra DPS, which typically is only going to be for buildings such as the um, the uh, expos and stuff like that. There's really only the expos at Town Hall 9. 
So that is not going to be that common where you have like two expos together. Um, I guess the main reason would be for the radius because if you're going to use two hastes, Sometimes it's better just to use the one rage if the, the spell radius will be the difference between using one versus two spells because the rage has the extra benefit of the DPS and the speed up effect is not as much as the haste, but oftentimes it's enough to, to satisfy. So um, that being said, don't use the rage much. It's not worth it. Don't use the skelly much. If you find yourself having to do like a attack where you use skelly spells to take out the queen, you might want to rethink it. It can work, of course, but um, it's typically going to be worth a, a second uh, thought if you can do it more efficiently. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, hope that all helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll probably do some more videos on Laloon deployment just because of the new update and how the balloons are a little bit different. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.